Technology in the automotive and motorcycle industry has blown up in the last 10 years. From blind spot detection to semi-active suspension, adaptive cruise control to blind spot blinker thingies to airbag vests, technology continues to move forward. This brings up a question for me that I've been thinking about for a long time, specifically about 3D printing. Can you print 3D prints? for your motorcycle. My name is David, welcome to Z's Garage. So what is a 3D printer? Well, essentially it's plastic that shoots out of a nozzle like a hot glue gun. Uh, plastic feeds through a hot nozzle and onto a hot plate and it builds layers until you create something. It's actually really simple. But the question is, what are we gonna build or use or make with our 3D printer for the motorcycle? Well, right here is a Como speedometer. This is going on our motorcycle. It didn't come with any sort of mounts for the bike. So I have to come up with a design and print it for the bike. But the question is, what type of material do we use? So what are the different options for filament? Well. The options are honestly endless. You can do PLA, which is extremely common filament for 3D prints. It's not exactly the strongest, it's not exactly the best for heat resistance, but it is cheap and it's readily available everywhere. We also have PA, which is strong and heat resistant. You have ABS, which is used everywhere in cars and in motorcycles. And then you also now have carbon fiber, which is just kind of crazy that you can print carbon fiber. But Honestly, as 3D prints, printers just get better and better every year, so does the amount of options that you have for filaments. But the question is, what are we going to use for our mount? Well, I'm going to use PLA. PLA, like I said, is not exactly the strongest or the most heat resistant, but it's readily available. It's also pretty cheap. So I'm just going to do a 100% infill, which means that there's like no hollow point inside the 3D print, and it should be a very, very strong 3D print. So before we get into that, I have to come up with a design. So I gotta kinda just brainstorm, come up with measurements, and then I have to draw it out. So that's what we're gonna do right now. Okay, we got our drawing. Ignore this little schmutt stain right here. That's actually guacamole. It was eating a burrito right next to my paper, which is not great. But it's gonna be a square design. It's gonna narrow as it gets closer to the speedometer. It's also going to contour um, the speedometer as well. So it's gonna be rounded on the end. I think that's gonna make like a good seamless look to it as well. And then it's also going to have a step. What I mean by that is it's going to drop down. And uh, this part right over here is going to go inside the triple tree. And it's going to allow for a little drop down for the speedometer to sit in line with the triple tree. Also, the part that holds the actual speedometer is going to be angled up a little bit towards me. So then when I'm riding, the speedometer isn't flat with the triple tree. It's going to be raised up at an angle, which is what I wanna go for. So really happy with this design. I think it's gonna be really good. Next up, we're gonna go into AutoFusion 360. There's a ton of YouTube videos. I'm not gonna give you a, a know-how on how to do or, or work with AutoFusion 360, but it is really easy. So that's what we're gonna do next. We gotta design this, and then we're gonna print our first 3D print, and we'll see how it goes.
Well, we got our first 3D print and it is very light because it's only 10% infill. So it's a pretty light infill. And I went ahead and drilled some holes, just kind of get an idea of where this speedometer is gonna be mounted. And now I just wanna get it on the motorcycle and see what it looks like. So let's do it. So it looks pretty good. The only thing is that I want it to be more of a slam. And this is pretty flat with the triple tree. I'm also just kind of curious on how strong this 3D print is. So let's pull on it and see what happens. Whoa, dude, <laughs> that's strong. Oh my gosh, I'm impressed. Dude. I can't really break. I mean, I can't really break it. It's like, <laughs> I'm really impressed right now. Oh, there we go. Dude, that took some serious force to break it. Let's go print another, but with a thicker infill. I went ahead and printed two more versions, one at 50% infill. So it's pretty, a lot heavier than the 10% infill. And then I printed a 100% infill. And this thing is heavy. The first one at 10% infill weighed at 45 grams. And then the 50% infill weighed in at 71 to 72 grams. My food scale is not fantastic, but then the heaviest one at 108 grams, give or take. And there is a pretty significant difference in the feel of these. I mean, the one that 108 grams is almost no flex. I can't bend it at all. And then the 50% infill, I'm barely feeling any sort of give in there. So I want to mount these up and I want to try to break them. So next up is the 50% infill. So let's see how to do. Okay, this is the 50% infill and it is a slightly different design um, than the last one, but it should be stronger. And oh, I don't know, I feel like that was too easy. Well, let's try the 100% infill. Okay, this is 100% infill. This is the heaviest one. I expect it to be the strongest, but I thought 50% was gonna be pretty strong and I feel like it failed pretty easily, so. Let's try this one. There's like almost no flex. Oh, that, yeah, this is strong. Oh, dude, that's, yeah. Wow. <laughs> that, that is really strong. That took like body weight to break that. 100% infill is the way to go. So the question that we have to ask ourselves that we asked at the beginning of the video is, does 3D printing parts work for motorcycles? And the simple question is yes. Now you have to take into account that all we're doing is printing a speedometer mount that is holding a speedometer that weighs less than half a pound. But you also have to take into account that it has to be pretty strong that no one can just walk up, break it and walk away. It's going to take some sort of force to break it. So. I'm really happy with the speedometer mount. The question is, can you print like foot pegs for your motorcycle or a rear set? Well, I can't answer that. That needs to be, you know, more testing done with like a 3D printer for carbon. Not that I bought one or anything like that, but I'm just saying. But 
Overall, really happy with the speedometer. I think it turned out super great. Um, definitely think 3D printer has a place in the motorcycle and automotive industry. And I'm really happy with this one. So thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate all of you guys. And to all my new subscribers, welcome to the channel. I hope you guys enjoy the video. Hope all of you enjoy the video. And next up, we're gonna be doing the rear cowl. Um, and then we also have the carbs still waiting on those, but all good. All right, guys, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.